Hello and welcome to Parrot's Training Videos for the Anafi AI. In this video, we'll go through Flight Plan. Flight Plan is one of the mission modes found in the Free Flight 7 application. Let's begin. There's a number of ways to open the Flight Plan option. Here we can open our projects and make sure we have Flight Plan selected. Here we can open a new project, duplicate an existing project, delete, or open a project we've already created. We can see the whole thing is synchronized by looking in the top right hand corner. We can also navigate to the heads up display by pressing the fly button. Then select the mission tab in the bottom left hand corner. Then select flight plan. When using the flight plan tool, it's best to start small. Let's create a new project here with a single point. We'll zoom into the area where we want the aircraft to fly. Using a single waypoint will give us a glimpse of the aircraft's capabilities in flight plan mode. At the top, we can select, modify, and name the project so that we can save it for a later date. Once saved, the flight plan can be shared across all devices logged into your Parrot Cloud account. Once we have our flight plan named, let's go ahead and drop a waypoint. To do so, tap on the screen once. This will drop a waypoint. Once the waypoint is dropped, you'll need to select the altitude at which you want the aircraft to fly. This will be the altitude of the waypoint. Next, you'll select the camera angle. When you're finished, press the little back button in the top left hand corner. Now let's open the image parameters. To do so, select that part of the menu. Here we have the ability to do a number of things. We can change from video mode to time lapse mode to GPS lapse. We can change the resolution from 1080 to 4K. We can change the frame rate. We can change the exposure and we can change the white balance. Now let's navigate to flight parameters. Here we can turn obstacle avoidance on or off. We can turn yes or no to the automatic progressive rate and we can return to home after the last waypoint has been reached. Now that our flight plan has been created, all we need to do is press the done button. Then we can upload this to the drone and fly the mission. Before flying the mission, make sure that the drone is updated, calibrated and fully charged and ready for flight. If you have questions on how to do this, please refer to our earlier videos. To ensure you have the right flight plan selected, ensure you can see yourself and the drone on the screen before you press the play button. Once the play button is pressed, you can always press the stop button to stop the mission. You also have the ability to take over manually with the controls. If the first waypoint on the map is below the return to home altitude, the aircraft will first fly up to its return to home altitude over to the point and then descend down to the waypoint altitude. This way the pilot can ensure that the return to home altitude is set at a safe altitude to avoid all obstacles. Now that we've seen the basics of the flight plan tool, let's create a more elaborate flight plan. To do so, we'll drop waypoints along the shoreline to highlight different features. We will use a combination of points of interest and waypoints so that the camera can flawlessly look from one point of interest to the next. To drop waypoints on the map, simply tap on the map where you would like the waypoint to be located. Then confirm the altitude and camera angle. At each waypoint, you have the ability to manually adjust the direction the camera is facing. The flight plan tool also allows you to adjust individual camera angles at the waypoint. This will allow for more dynamic shots. To drop a point of interest, hold down on the map. Then you can select whatever waypoint you would like to link to this point of interest. This means that the camera angle and direction will automatically be changed to focus directly on the point of interest. The flight plan tool allows us to capture flawless shots every time. After creating the flight plan, it's time to give this flight plan a name, go over the image parameters, the flight parameters, and ensure everything is ready for flight. Once the flight plan is complete, all you need to do is press the play button, then sit back, relax, and let the Anafi AI do the work. You should now have a good understanding of the flight plan mode and ready to try it out for yourself. In the next video, we'll go through the different photogrammetry options found in Free Flight 7. Thanks for tuning in to Parrot's training videos for the Anafi AI.